Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 11, Climbing the Ladder, our football manager, Journeyman Save. We are with Bonnie Rig Rose, and we are back for match day. Let's take a quick catch up on the schedule. Uh, after the disappointing loss to Brora last episode, we came back. We had a draw with Edinburgh City 1-1. Andy Baxter with an 80th minute goal to equalize and gain us a point. And a surprising 2-2 draw uh, with Four Far Athletic, who was relegated from last year. Uh, Brian Jones with a goal just before the half. And Daniel Ray Devaney on the half coming back to actually put us up 2-1. We gave up a late equalizer to Do uh, Douglas Turner. Livingston, we beat them 5-2 in the third round. Stunning win. Brian Jones with a hat trick. Ray Devaney with a brace. We dominated the game, surprisingly. Kelty Hearts, we came back and uh, beat them 1-0. Roy Dell Smith on his debut with a goal. And Air Airdrionians, 1-0 loss. Chris Ganley with the goal to beat us. We did make a couple of signings, so let's take a look at those uh, here in the last couple of days. Uh, all are loan players. Uh, so let's see. Alan Miller came in from Aberdeen. That was in uh, August. That was a month ago. So these are the two guys. Uh, from Dundee United, we get Kieran, Kieran Dingwall. Uh, he is a center back, very pacey, very good defensively, determination, work rate. Uh, he's already made his debut with a 6.8, so that's going to strengthen our back line. And then the other guy is Ali Smith, who comes in from Middlesbrough on loan. And he can play all three back line positions, very strong defensively, very good physically as well, and mentally well-rounded. He can you know, do a decent job crossing, so we could put him at right or left back if we need to has not made his debut yet as he just arrived after the last match. We're coming up on the transfer deadline, but uh, so those are the new guys. And I don't think, did you see him? I don't remember. Oh, you may not have. Let's see. Uh, last match was August 15th. So no, you did not see these guys. So let's take a look at them as well. Or him. So from Partick Thistle, we brought in Martin Robinson on loan. Uh, he is a left back. Again, very strong physically. He can mark. He can tackle. Solid crossing for this level. So really strengthened up our back line. And all three of them are on freeze with no salary. So very, very quality pickups for us with salaries that we can't afford. We, uh, we've got some bad weather. Started coming in last night. Actually had a power surge earlier this morning. Uh, luckily, it didn't kick off the electricity, but it, it flickered. And uh, right now, we're between bands, so they're expecting another bad band uh, with possible hail to come in uh, a little bit later. So I'm going to try to knock out this recording. So let's get into the match. But yeah, the animals are all freaked out. All right, we are on the road. We are underdogs. So we're going to play our standard away tactic. Uh, let's see. You know what I do want to do? I'm going to bench Monroe. He has been pl playing really bad. He has not gotten a goal in a while. And in our back five, we have four lone players now. Dingwall, Smith, Robertson on the left side. Jim Gibson's on the right due to the injury. And that pushes quite a few players to the bench. But that's okay. Because we're doing so well, uh, Krasnicki's back from his injury. We've uh, given him about a week to work on his fitness and get back closer to 100%. So it's good to have him back on that right side. Remember, he was an upgrade from Ray Devaney, although Ray Devaney's a really good player for us. But I want to be able to go to battle with our best players here. Inverness in the blue. We're in the red and white. Uh, striped kits Boom. horizontal stripes are the worst <laughs> they're just the worst and that's not one of the reasons I chose to be a Leeds fan but I do like the solid kits <laughs> I do like the solid kits alright we're putting a little pressure there 
All right, a little foot stomp to get the ball. Brindle into the attack. Oh, laid off to McKenzie. That is nice. No, he loses it. Damn. All right, we got to do a little. Oh, my God. And Gracie just poached the ball. Oh, the keeper thought he was going high, and he just slid it right underneath him with a soft touch. That was a beautiful finish. I've got to give him credit. Oh, man. All right, we're going to demand a little more here, buddy. Demand a little more. They're uninterested. All right. Nothing happening. Get creative. All right, we're right in there with possession. They're not killing us on shots but we haven't created a chance yet in the first half. Hmm. Not getting blown off the pitch. I think I'm going to go here. That does give us a positive. And I'm going to close up just a little bit. All right. Pressure's off. Krasnicki, avoid a booking. Will you quit doing that? Ow, that hurts. Come on, boys. Uh, demand more. All right. Set piece that we avoid a goal. Good. All right. Krasnicki's not quite back, so let's bring on a fresh Ray Devaney. And... Dingwall or Smith? I think Smith. We're going to move Smith over to the left. And then Robertson, we can bring on McGregor, who was our starting center back. Show some passion. They're frustrated. We're fired up. All right, we're going to have to go up to attacking here. All right, let's go back into... Ow, man. He is freaked out. All right. We're going to do that. We're going to put pressure on him. <sighs> Come on, boys. Brindle for Baxter. Get some fresh legs into the attack. All right. We've got a throw. Jones. McKenzie. Jones lays it off. Ray Devaney's there in the box. Knocked away. Gibson crossed in. Oh, what a save, Donaldson. Oh, that was brilliant save. What a play by the team. That's going to cost us the equalizer. Oh, that was a nice play. And that knocks us down to sixth position. Only three points separating us from Inverness at the top. Oh, that was... I'm going to be a little assertive. We gave it everything. We want to try to keep the morale up. You know, one nothing is not bad, but we've got to find ways to win some of those matches. And, oh, that was such a heartbreaking save because we had a great ball in on that cross from Gibson, and that should have been in the net. Should have been in the net. All right, we'll be back for the other match here in just a second. All right, we're coming back for the next match. We're just going through some emails. Uh, Ray Devaney and Jordan Johnson, second and third in player of the month here in the league. Uh, recommended that we go cautious in the next match. You can see we're losing a shit ton of money, which is disappointing. But, you know, I can't sell any players, and I don't know if that's a that's a me problem because every, I mean, even the players that are good, they're, they're, you know, and they're on multiple year deals, like signed through the end of the 2067 season. So a whole nother year, they're only offering freeze. So we're back for the match today. Sainsbury's passed his fitness test so we can get him back in for a good run. McFarland, uh, not quite 
fit yet, it doesn't appear. All right, so we're favorites, so we're going to go back to our home attacking option. And again, I want, how is Mick? One start, six sub appearances. He's only playing a 6-6. Six, six. I mean, that's well off what he did last year. So, yeah, I just, I don't think I can justify bringing him on. Man, this is a game we've got to win, guys. This is a game we have got to win. Ayers, one of the teams picked to be relegated. So, let's get it done today, please. All right, we start off with a shot on target and dominating possession. Flick on header. Brindle beats him to the ball. He's into the box. He takes a shot. That was uh, that was assuming a lot there, Brindle. Dingwall picks up an early yellow. All right, Brindle. Brindle's showing a lot of hustle. There's one in. Off the woodwork. Oh, my gosh, that should have been in the net. That should have been in the net. All right, he takes a touch. We're looking for a breakdown here. That wasn't it. Comes right back up, and nothing transpires from that. I'm going to demand more. Looks like a foul on Love. Monroe's going to take this one. He's looking top bins. Keeper knocks it over. So it was on target. Ray Devaney. And we reload. We push it all the way back to central mid and start from scratch. Get creative down the stretch here. Nine to three, seven of nine on target. I'm going to go ahead and move this up to attacking. Let's work the ball into the box. We're already overlapping. And I'm just going to pull both of those back a smidge. Air set piece. Andy Frazier. Of course it's his first goal of the season. That's all we allow. Show some passion. All right. Devaney, Kyle Christie, Dingwall, McGregor. All right, Monroe. There's a header. Mark McKenzie off the back line. His third set-piece goal of the season. He is doing well. Actually, no, McKenzie's our midfielder. <laughs> Never mind. Still his third goal of the season. Yeah, that's our midfielder. Oh, dangerous, dangerous. Can we push out? Ooh. All right, we're going to drop back to positive. And Jones is playing well. Robertson, Smith, or Robertson, Gibson. You know what? Let's move Gibson, and then we can bring Sainsbury back on. Get him a little bit of match time. Push forward. In the final 10 minutes, Monroe lumps it in. There's a header. It goes high. They're frustrated. Come on, boys. Not a single highlight down the end. 14 of 18 on target. We should have got more than a goal. I think we got hosed. So we're going to go aggressive. Nah, I don't want to do that. 
unlucky. I think they were unlucky. They played well. They played well. Hmm. Boy, boy, boy. So, yeah, we let that one get away. That was two points that would have kept us up in that upper group. Instead, we're in this middle tier. The good news is we're eight points clear of relegation in the early going. So that's good news. But the bad news is we're also eight points off of the top, which we were not going to challenge this year. We have got to find a way. I won't be upset. Let's see. The rules are in League One. So you could actually qualify for Champions League. The ch uh, Oh, okay. So that's to possibly get promoted to the championship. Honestly, I'm more worried about the money, but, and you can get promoted too fast and not be able to keep up. Oh, well, I guess we're just going to keep plugging away. D, not used to seeing that much red in this save, though, so far. So this is more like last, last saves. Oh, by the way, Bonnie Rig, you're ticking me off again. I finished my coaching badge, yeah? I'm up to a full one and a half star, and I've got my A license. So I put in for the Continental C license, and they told me no, that they needed me for training. Who was it? This guy? I think it's him. Yeah, they sent him to get his Continental Pro license. How you like that? Not, not very happy. But they, yeah, so they let a reserves coach go to a coaching badge literally later in the week after they told me I couldn't go. And I coached their senior squad. Disappointed. But I will be putting in, um, if it happens again, I will definitely, if it comes as an option, I will put in the request again. But it just may be I have to do it in the off season and just do one a year. And if that's what it is, that's what it is. Where do we come back, guys? Uh, let's come back. Did we just play four far? No, we played them off camera. Did we come back? Tell you what, I'm going to wait and see who, well, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Where's Edinburgh right now? They're sitting in fourth. Four far is in first. Let's come back for Edinburgh because that's a more winnable game. We'll do Edinburgh and then whoever we play in the third round of the Scottish Cup. So that's here. Uh, somebody did tell me in the comments, William Hill is a gambling company. So they suspend a Leeds youngster for eight weeks for gambling on a match through bet 32 and yet you can wear Bet32 on your kits and your advertisement and name a cup after gambling, but you can't gamble. And he wasn't gambling to throw games. He was he was just, you know, he was betting on senior level stuff that he wasn't even part of because he was a U18, U23 player. Anyway, that made a lot of sense. So, yeah, let's do that. We'll come back for... Um, Edinburgh and whoever we're going to play in that third round guys hit that like button for me subscribe if you don't mind and uh, We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye